Geeks and Geekettes, welcome to, uh, I guess, what I'd call an Ask Chuck Dixon Extra. Um, it's become public knowledge now that uh, the first of my Levon Cade novels, Levon's Trade, is going to be adapted into a feature film. And um, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about it. I thought maybe I'd get ahead of a few of them. Um, how did this come about? <laughs> Well, part of it is, I think, just uh, I've spun the wheel so many times, I had to come up with a winner eventually. <laughs> uh, just law of averages, right? But real, where it really starts, I mean, beyond me writing the first Levon Cade novel, um, it begins when I was uh, approached by Dynamite to write an Expendables miniseries. It was supposed to be a prequel to the first Expendables movie. Now, I couldn't see the movie because it was still in production while I was writing, or in post-production while I was writing the comic book. Um, so I had to work off of uh, Sylvester Stallone's screenplay, which is quite a bit different than the finished film. Um, but uh, very good. It was very good. I really liked uh, uh, the shared patois, the shared language that he gave these guys. Uh, the, you know, close friends, uh, combat buddies, and all the rest of it. And also how dark some of the characters were, particularly Dolph Lundgren's character. Um, anyway, so I wrote the miniseries. I had a good time doing it. And I thought, well, that's the end of that. <laughs> and then I get a phone call. And uh, it's, uh, the phone call is uh, from uh, Mr. Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and he's telling me how much he liked the comic book and how much he appreciated that I captured the dialogue from the screenplay and uh, really seemed to understand what made these characters tick. And beyond just telling me how great he thought the comic was and, and Sly's a big, he's a big comic fan. He likes comics. Um, he told me that uh, he was interested in having me do rewrites, help him do rewrites on the screenplay for Expendables 2. Uh, he did not write the screenplay. Um, the production company hired outside screenwriters and Sly wasn't happy with the end results. And he wanted to know if I wanted to come in and, and help out. And uh, I thought, yeah, well, yeah, well, hey, why not? So um, he arranged for them to uh, fly me on out there and uh, go to a production meeting, my, my first production meeting ever. And of course, Sly was there and uh, the producers from Millennium. And, and I later learned that every production meeting goes basically the same way. And uh, this one went, at, at the time, I thought it went great. I got along with everybody. They seemed receptive to my ideas. Um, Sly and I were like finishing each other's sentences, describing what we wanted to do, how to make it a little bit more different, a little bit more meaty than the uh, screenplay as it was. And I left there feeling pretty good. I thought, hey, I'm I'm gonna be a script doctor. I'm gonna I got a new career. <laughs> and uh I quickly found out that you know that's the way production meetings always go. You always go, you always leave feeling great. Uh and then and then the uh the producers stay behind and, and say what they really meant. <laughs> so um <laughs> so you know, basically, long story short, they they lowballed me. I had to get I had to get an agent. All of this happened like in a whirl. I was it was in Hollywood basically for only one full day. You know, flew in on the red eye and flew out on the red eye. And uh <laughs> and uh they lowballed, gave me a lowball offer. It was ridiculous. It was an insult uh for the amount of rewriting that uh I would have had to have done. And so uh, I passed on it and Sly understood that I passed on it and I thought, well, that's the end of it. That's there's my Hollywood career over inside of 24 hours. Uh, but little did I know that um, Sylvester Stallone is not like most Hollywood guys. And uh, he kept me in mind. And he reached out to me and gave me work writing some web content for Lionsgate, which was, you know, um, you know high paying writing job. And he got, he got me the, uh, the, the gig writing the dialogue for an Expendables video game, which, which paid well. And continued to talk to me um, over the years. And 
the things he talked to me about was the novels I had written. He, he, he very much liked the uh, Levon Cade novels, and he very much liked Bad Times, like time travel series. And he was interested in doing both of them, uh, in produ producing, but you know he couldn't put a deal together. That's the story in Hollywood. I talked to a bunch of producers and screenwriters and things on, on both projects, and uh, you know through Sly, and uh, but you know nothing went anywhere for a while because that's the way things happen in Hollywood. But now uh, we got a we got a production deal. We got a we got a start date, <laughs> which look you know. It, it's. I don't get excited about these things, because I've I've been here before. <laughs> I've been even I've been much closer to having a film made based on, on one of my properties than I am even now. Uh, but we got a start date next March. You know, filming begins, and um, because it's Sly, I, I'm I'm a lot more confident because he's a guy who gets things done. Now, Sly wrote the screenplay. Um, during COVID, he had written several episodes of a proposed Levon Cade TV series um, and then decided, uh, he decided, or he and his production partners decided to scrap that idea and instead go for a feature film and largely to launch a, um, a new franchise starring Jason Statham. And Statham was all for it and, you know, got... You know, 11 novels, soon to be 12 novels to work from. So there's plenty of material there uh, for Mr. Statham to uh, continue doing Levon Cade for, for several films, if, if the first film earns. And I'm confident it will earn because I, it, it's, they brought on the, the gentleman in the center, uh, David Ayer, to direct from uh, Sly's uh, screenplay. And um, Ayer is... Um, serious action guy. Uh, he doesn't make, you know, really gonzo action films. He makes more reality grounded action films, which pleases me because Levon Cade is very much a reality grounded, uh, you know, vigilante kind of action story. Uh, there's no fantastic elements in it. And, uh, you know, I like Ayer's work. I'm a big fan of his movie Fury. I mean, Street Kings, End of Watch. I mean, uh, Wrote the screenplay for Training Day. I mean, this guy's a, a powerhouse. And, you know, combined with Stallone's screenplay, I think we're going to see some pretty cool stuff. And as Sly said, um, all, all Jason Statham cares about is, can he, is, does, is he going to get to fight a lot? <laughs> of course, yeah, he's going to get to fight a lot. Uh, now, because it's being turned from a novel into a feature film, they're going to, they, they, they've told me they're going to open up the action a little more, which is, perfectly understandable um it's a feature film but you know we're not going to get crazy you know it's not going to turn into uh, fast and the furious you know nine or whatever number they're up to and i'm excited about statham in the role because statham not only is he an absolutely convincing action guy because he's he's a badass uh in reality um he's also a very good actor and if you look back over his history of action films there's some excellent movies there uh, so I'm very pleased. I mean, I couldn't think of a better team to come together and do this, do this adaptation. And most flattering is the fact that um, um, Sly's screenplay so closely follows the novel. Uh, a lot of my dialogue basically will end up in the story exactly, the, exactly as written. So, you know, that's got to please me as a writer, right? Uh, that they're not going to completely alter it. Um, I'm not getting the, the treatment that Elmore Leonard got so often, <laughs> where they, they loved his story, but oh, they're going to make a lot of changes. But there, there really won't be any changes made uh, to, to what I wrote. And, uh, and maybe eventually, because um, you know, now I have an association with Jason Statham as well, uh, I, I, maybe, maybe he'll make what I feel would be uh, the ultimate Jason Statham movie. That's bollocks, that is. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, the other plus side, of course, is it's, it's sure going to help the sales on the books. So uh, it's kind of a win-win-win for me all the way around. Uh, I'm already seeing uh, sales on the books climb, even with just the announcement that the, uh, the film is 
currently in pre-production and uh, you know going to start shooting early next year. So um, I'm sure that answers a number of the questions that you have, but I'm sure there will be more. But I want to tell you a little bit of the story and how this thing happened. Um, and, um, you know, keep you, my, uh, my loyal audience, um, you know, in the know. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you down the road.